Right everyone, welcome back to here. Thought I'd do a review on this SEMA knife that I got recently. And this is the SEMA G20 survival knife. And it's a little knife, uh, it's a little sort of sheath knife. About the size of a Mora, uh, maybe slightly smaller. It's not, not a really big knife. Uh, you get a nice little tactical sheath with it though. Which you can see there. You've got quite a long bit of cordage there. Not paracord, I don't know what it is, just sort of, you know, just your average sort of stuff you have on these sheaths. You've got a couple of different ways to strap this on, so it could be vertical or horizontal. You wouldn't be able to do this upside down though, so you can pull the knife down, which I'll show you in a minute. And the buckles have got the uh, poppers on. It's quite good. Turn it back round. There's the knife. You get a little pouch here. You don't actually get anything in it when you get the knife, but it's quite a decent size. You could fit, you know, flint striker in there or sharpen it, or a Swiss Army pen knife. Quite a few things. You get a bit of paracord, and then you get the knife. Now, this is the thing. What I mean about you won't be able to hang this upside down or anything. You may have to be careful with this because even with the clasp shut this will slide straight out so slight design flaw there but you know I don't know there's plenty of knives that have that exact same thing that the knife isn't actually held in very well but um, yeah that doesn't really make a difference to holding the knife in it is purely held in by the just friction really so here is the knife, and as I said, it's quite a small sheath knife, it's not, not big, it is 21.5 centimetres overall, and has a 10.8 centimetre blade, you've got a little cut out bit there, where they've took the finish off for a flint striker, so it's all ready just to be able to use this one, Oz 8 steel, Nice finish on there though, I'm not sure what it is, it doesn't say. There's the SEMA logo. Nice G10 scales with some nice texturing on and that. They are nice scales on these, I'll give them that. And the fit and finish is good overall. You've got a bit of paracord down the bottom there. That was already on it, I didn't add that. So it's got a lanyard hole, in fact it's got two lanyard holes technically, one there, one there. Torx head screw construction. Actually, I've got another one there. Bit of jimping on the back, there and there. Yeah, but it's a nice, nice little knife, you've got a nice little finger groove there. If you want a sort of alternative to a Mora or a Holter Falls knife, whatever it is, this would be a good alternative. It's just about the same size, probably got a smaller handle though. I'd say the blade is about the same size, but the handle is smaller because um, the Moras do have big handles anyway, that's deliberate, you know, they do that on purpose so you've got a nice handle, you know, nice handle to hold on to. And decently sharp, just got a nice plain. Edge there. Yeah, not a lot I can say really. They didn't give me a lot of details on it. Oz 8 steel, G10 handles, nylon tactical sheath. That's it, and the measurements. I think T601 is the model. No, T I, I'm not sure. This is a weird thing. This one is called the SEMA G20, but if you search T601, you get the other version of this. So, just go, if you want this, just go by my link in the um, description and you'll find this version. And from there you could change to the other version, which is like a plain handle with a black, like, uh, not, it's got a plain blade, no finish on it, just bare metal, and a black handle. And brass pins. Yeah, overall, very nice little survival knife. Fits in the hand well. See it there. I'll get all my fingers on it. A bit left over. It is comfortable, I'll tell you that. 
Handle's not overly thick. It's nicely contoured. Yeah, that rattle you can hear is that um the uh, lanyard hole holder thing there. Not sure how that works. That's all that is. Yeah, I quite like it. If you know, if you want a smaller survival knife or whatever sheath knife, this could be the way to go. Certainly has a nice sheath. I think what you want to do is try and get some kind of insert in there. Some kind of plastic insert. So that when you push the knife into it, the knife goes into the plastic insert and then it's held in that way. Uh, you might be able to make one. You can make them out of, you know, Bit, some plastic off of a DVD case and some um, tape put that in and then when you put the blade in there it might hold it in better so yeah that is the SEMA G20 or the SEMA T601 and it is around about £14 15p which I think is not bad really the sheath's quite nice you know you could probably spend a tenner on a sheath like that couldn't you Tenner for the sheath, tenner for the knife. Getting it for £14.15p, I think that's alright. So, there'll be links below in the more info section. If you like this, uh, I'll link to this and possibly the other one. But you'll find this one if you go to the links. There'll be a coupon code. Um, look in the sales codes, sales um, links as well. Because you may find this knife in the sales code for even cheaper sales link and if you ever want to support this channel and you buy from Gearbest make sure you use my links and every time you do I get like 7 to 10% of what you spend at no cost to you and it helps me out and helps support the channel and helps me you know make the channel better so yeah so that is it SEMA G20 Swive knife quite nice for the price I hope you found this interesting and helpful. And uh yeah, that's about it, right? See you later.